Hey everyone, Wacked here. And if you read the title, you know you're in for a treat. First, let me explain why I'm even making this video. When you get comments getting more likes than you have subscribers, you have to respond to some of them. I, not in a million years, think I'd have a YouTube video where I cannot respond to every single comment. Like, as you can see, there's some likes, some likes, but I cannot get all of them. I simply can't. This is absurd. However, this video was really a blessing because now I'm so close to 1,000 subs. And that happens to be the second reason I'm even making this video. I'm so close to 1,000 subs. So if you enjoy this video, please subscribe. 1,000 subs has been a dream of mine, and I even said that it was my dream two weeks ago in one of my videos. Firstly, before I respond to any of the comments, I'm going to need to cover some drama that dream stands have been in recently. So supposedly there's this dream stand that had a Twitter account that was showing where dreams coordinates were on the world. God, I'd hate to be a dream stand. Like if I was just a normal fan of dream or just a stand, like I really liked dream and these people were doing this type of shit, like I'd hate it. I'd hate it so much. If you want an in-depth video on the tracker Twitter thing, there's a good video top right you could watch. But basically, the account got banned, and we don't know whether or not it was even real in the first place. Now let's get to what I've been dreading. Reading some Dream Stan's comments. I covered most of the top comments in how Dream Stan's changed my life video, which was basically a QA. and a if you want to watch that. So we're going to go to the wild wild west of the comment section. The newest first. You're a fan and you never ship them? Good stuff. You and Kiker should do a collab? I really hope I didn't just butcher that. Yeah, he's cool. I actually love Dream and all Minecraft YouTubers. But when people make sexual edits, wallpapers, profile pictures, memes, and jokes that creators do not like, to the point where they have to put it in their titles to not meme, bad boy Halo. And the grossest fan fictions and drawings, etc. Like, what the f Yeah, and I respond with, no. It honestly pains me to rewatch my Dream Stand video because of like how little effort I put into it. My video was still well received, but I didn't put nearly as much work into it as I should have or as I do today in my videos. I don't know if I should have even covered the Glow Squid drama. While it is true a majority of Dream's fan base is what voted for the Glow Squid, there were other creators endorsing it. So I guess that topic's basically void now. Well, they're technically not underage in the UK. Well, they're not technically underage, and this is something I guess I messed up on, but I still think my point stands. In England, a child is defined as anyone who's not reached their 18th birthday. So while the age of consent is 16 in Britain, he's still underage and he still does not condone shipping. Like, what the hell, guys? It kind of gives me a weird feeling in my stomach to try to put myself in Tommy Ennett's shoes when it comes to the situation. Because the dude's only 16 and he's seeing such a weird side of the internet. Like, you guys can be normal fans of Tommy Ennett like I am. I think he creates great content, I think he has a funny personality. But when it comes to shipping, you should not. That's a big word. Okay, so it's... They can be shipped... But not sexually? Well, if you're shipping Tommy and Double to be friends, they already are friends, so I don't see a point. And if you're shipping their Minecraft characters, like together, in the Dream Team SMP, not sexually, go for it. We do it respectfully, Stan should only like and show- God, I can't see, I'm blind. I don't know if I could have said it better myself. In my video, I was certain to say that the bad stands give the good stands a bad rep. Before finishing my response with this comment, I need to clarify something real quick. A stan is not a super fan, it's a stalker fan. Now, I have no clue I didn't pick this up because it's basically from the song Stan by Eminem. Which if you haven't heard, it's completely depressing. It's just, the song messes with your brain if you listen to it. I remember my mom told me there was one song I'd never be allowed to listen to and it was the stan song. And that's because my mom thought it was too vulgar. To sum it up, basically there's a fan of Eminem that's writing notes to him, and Eminem didn't respond, well, it was too late when he responded. The stand drove off a bridge with his wife, who was pregnant, in the trunk, and crashed into a river. Now, I'm not gonna come out and say all stands are stalker fans. I just think people miscategorized the word stan, and very badly miscategorized it. Like, it'd be way better if they just called themselves super fans, came up with something else, but of course they had to go with stan. I suppose it doesn't matter though. Back to this question, bad stands do give good stands a horrible reputation, like that's, that's clear. Okay, I'm glad this comment's next because this comment's very well worded. I'm a shipper at heart. I love shipping fictional characters and stuff. Sometimes a flaw of mine, I ship real people. But you know what I do? I keep that quiet. Try to forget about it and I don't tell others. I don't publish fanfic or fan art, don't harass the real people to be together or attack them if they are straight and not gay for each other. 
Also, I don't know if you heard that, but that's my PC. The thing's roaring like a jet engine. I don't know why it does that. So if there's a lot of cuts, which there will be, it's because that thing randomly does that. It's honestly depressing, some of the stuff that people are doing. Like, I don't know how this is normalized. To ship two real people that don't want to be shipped and clearly do not like each other, I don't know why you would do that. And if you're into that, or your brain just wants you to do that, or you just can't help yourself, it's a fetish of yours, then just keep that quite like Chris says. Because like a wise football coach once said, We do not care. You're from Croatia. I hate to admit to this, but I'm not. I'm not from Croatia. I initially made my skin the Croatian flag as a joke, but now I have some Croatian fans, so it's staying. I've met the My Hero fandom. I've watched the anime, and the fandom is just weird. Like, the fandom, I don't know if they compare to the Tommy, and I don't know if you can compare the two, but the My Hero fandom's big yikes. Even though it's 16th age of consent, you can go to jail if you draw possessed or share drawings of one or more minors doing something sexual or something of sexual nature featuring underage people. Yes, it counts as child p, even if it's drawn. Holy, if that is true, a lot of people are going to jail today. Like, even if you're a minor and you're drawing things about minors doing that, it still counts. Come on now. None of you are safe. Also, your little no right here, I agree. I'm pretty sure they said they're uncomfortable and I'm basing a lot of my opinion off of that. Because if for some unknown reason Tommy and Init and Tubbo say, yeah, you guys can ship us, I'm okay with that. Well, then this entire video, there's no point to it. There's literally no point. But until I can find a video showing that they have, I mean, I'm gonna go with guilty until proven innocent for this situation. Oh, and another thing I need to cover is Dream Stands trying to force Dream to do a face reveal. That sucks, man. I straight up feel bad for Dream because this dude could be a sexy ad mapper, but it still won't be enough for the Dream Stands. Because you all know damn well, the second Dream does a face reveal, there are going to be hearts all around his face, there are going to be Twitter profile pictures, like, come on now. It's kind of the same situation with Corpse Stands, who are trying to make Corpse do a face reveal. Regardless of how Corpse or Dream look, their fan base will not be satisfied, I guarantee it. It's come to the point where some Dream Stands are even bullying Dream over this, like, if you're ugly, I'm not going to subscribe. It's some really low shit, let me tell you. I'm supporting Dream by playing a role as his dog is a funny joke. I wasn't toxic to anyone, but whenever I comment, I was called a Dream Stand for no reason. Dream Stands are stupid, but a lot of people who accuse people of being stands for just no reason, that's also stupid. I mean, your username's Dreams Doggo, and you have a Dream profile picture. This problem relates to the problem of people underestimating the word stan. Since people sometimes think it's super fan like I did, people will call you that. But in reality, a stan is a stalker fan. So until that word is not as generalized, I mean, just, you're gonna have to deal with it. Because you're clearly a big fan, which can relate to a super fan, which I guess means stan. So when you're called a stan, just, I don't know, link this video, because stans should not mean super fan. Like, if stans did not mean super fan, then these people like you, with a dream profile picture, would just be called normal fans. And being a normal fan, there's nothing wrong with that. The stalker fans are the ones that are trying to get his location, his face, and his personal details. If you do any of those things I just mentioned, you you need some help, and if you need help, comment down below, I'll try to help you. Dream skin, a stick man. Dream fan art, a badass ninja wearing a green hoodie and a white mask. <laughs> well, that's true, you gotta respect the actual artist. Why is this man so fixated on someone else's fan base? Because it is cringe and need to be discussed? Thanks for the comment though. If you watch the video and have anything to say that I missed, let me know. I hate people that put like hearts at things, stuff like that. The fact of the matter is, this dude with a Beano's profile picture, come on now. I don't know if you know this about me, I'm gonna say this before I get my q and I used to have a meme page where I post memes, I actually grew a huge following, 60,000 followers. Till it got banned, of course. And Beano's was like a year ago, come on dude, you need to update your profile picture. Also, of course I'm gonna cover this topic. For the well-being of a content creator that I enjoy, I needed to talk about it. Also, Tubbo is the same age as Tommy. This is a justification most stands try to use when it comes to shipping. Response is, they don't want to be shipped. Simple as that. Tommy and Tubbo both do not consent to being shipped. Why are you going to do it? Let alone come public with it. Like, what the heck? Well, this was a good way to start my Monday. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out my other videos because I put a lot of work into my videos and I mean, at 1,000 subs, my content supposedly will be pushed out to more people so I can grow more fans and hopefully make more people's days. I also have a Discord if you want to join it. It has an awesome community and I do have a fan art section where you can see the fan art with me as a real person because it is sick. Last thing, make sure to take care of yourself guys. Have a great night.